Martin McGuinness is one of the most controversial leaders in British and Irish politics. He's been a central figure in both Northern Ireland's pain and its peace. Now he's standing down due to illness. I have to be very honest with myself. The question I ask myself is, are you capable? Are you physically capable of fighting this election with the intensity that elections need to be fought? And the honest answer is that I'm not physically capable. His background lay in the civil rights riots in Londonderry, but Martin McGuinness chose violent resistance. By the age of 21, he was second in command of the IRA in Derry, talking about the bombing campaign. Can you say whether the bombing is likely to stop in the near future in response to any public demand? Well, uh, we will always take into consideration the feelings of the people of Derry, and these feelings will be passed on to our GHQ in Dublin, you know. He served two prison sentences in the Irish Republic. He was also convicted of IRA membership. He openly attended IRA events. He denied that he was the IRA chief of staff, but said he regarded it as a compliment. We don't believe that winning elections and winning any amount of votes will bring freedom in Ireland. At the end of the day, it will be the cutting edge of the IRA which will bring freedom. Today he was asked whether he had any regrets about his days in the IRA. Well, I think people have to consider the circumstances that existed in this city when I did join the IRA. We had a city where people were being murdered by the RUC, where they were being murdered wholesale as they were in Bloody Sunday by the parachute uh, regiment. And the fact that many young people like myself, supported by many thousands of people in the city, I'm not saying they were the majority, decided to fight back. I don't uh, regret any of that. But he was one of the IRA leaders who recognised that continued violence would not bring further political gains. In 1994, there was a ceasefire. It laid the foundation for peace talks. Sinn Féin nominated him as its chief negotiator, leading to the Good Friday Agreement and eventually power sharing. Bitter foes sat alongside each other in a new assembly. What an ancient no surrender. <laughs> My journey's been a long journey. I've been over 25 years working on building the peace. Martin McGuinness's departure from politics comes at a sensitive time for Northern Ireland. Its power sharing assembly has collapsed and Brexit poses difficult questions about the future of the border with Ireland. As Deputy First Minister, Many people struggled to forgive a man who had played such a key role in a violent campaign, but he earned grudging respect for his commitment to peace, and the gunman who turned politician had the authority to make compromises. Gavin Hewitt, BBC News, Belfast.